So another week and another wire-free product. Uh, this time we've done the Cleanamp Pro for the Game Boy Color. So now we have a wire-free kit for an audio amp for the Game Boy Color, which just drops on and solders into five or six points, and you're done. So without further ado, let's just jump in and install this in the Game Boy Color. So you can already see how easy it's going to be. We've placed the amp in position, and you can take a look at the pads that we'll need to use for the installation. So if you line it up, this is just a support pad so that this doesn't flap around near the bottom. And the ribbon has the ground pad here. We have the power pad here. We have the audio left and right in here, and we have the speaker disconnect here. So if we remove this from the board, all versions of the Game Boy Color have all these pads. So you'll see we've got the ground pad here. We've got left and right in here. Uh, you have the power plane here, so the stick trace is the power plane. And you'll have these two vias on all versions. Some of them are fully green, so you just need to scratch away slightly to get a solder pad here. If you don't want to scratch away, you can always go from over here to, I believe it's switch one VCC. Uh, just test with continuity um, which one goes to here, switch one VCC or BCC. But nearly all versions have the pads already exposed, and if not, just gently scrape away and add some solder. So you just want to pre-tin each of these, and I think this has already had one installed because there's already fresh solder on every one of these pads. But let's just go through it again anyway, just to be sure. Get some nice round pads on there. And then place the Cleanamp Pro over the pads, and they will align up perfectly. So if you align those up, you will see you get a nice perfect alignment. And then down here, you can just solder that one to hold it in place. So with them on, let's just start with this one. A bit of extra solder. Get the tweezers and just hold the board down. And then the same for the others. Blob solder over. And if you're unsure, just hold the board down when you're doing it. And you know you're going to get a good connection. And then for the ground pad, same again. Solder the ground pad. And finally, just support the board down here. You'll see why in a moment. Once that's supported, if we were to flip over, and this was being installed in a shell, you can see now you have your speaker pads here on this side, right next to where the speaker used to be. So it's nice and easy when you place this into a shell, you can solder your speaker last, and if you want to remove it from the shell instead of the speaker flapping around, you can just desolder the speaker and take the board out freely. As with any solder job, just clean up your flux. And that's literally the clean amp installed. So we just flip this over and we'll just tack a speaker to the uh, speaker pads. And just chuck our test speaker on. And that's literally the clean amp installed. So let's grab the Pokemon Gold test cart that we always use. Power this from the bench. And we're on full volume. And you can see that's already nice and loud. And there's Pokemon playing. And we've obviously got full volume control. And when it's on full volume, you can hear how loud that is. It's literally almost too loud. And the whole install took literally a few minutes. No more wires, nice and hidden in your design. The rubbers will fit nicely over here. The clean light will fit over the top. So if you wanted to go ahead and install our new clean light board as well, you'll notice we've designed this to literally go the opposite side of here, mount over and sit over the top of this no problem. So if you're going to be doing a Clean Amp Pro and a Clean Light, just install the Clean Amp Pro first, just looks neater. And then the Clean Light sits over the top of that nicely. I'll do another video on installing the Clean Light next. But that's it for this Clean Amp. It couldn't really be any simpler. And it's just another one of those products that now no longer requires wires. So that's it for this one, guys. And I'll catch you in the next.